SN95 Mustang GT, the official car of this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is before you buy a 1994 to 1998 SN95 Mustang GT. If you want a fast and powerful muscle car that can still keep up with most sports cars on the road today, has a big V8 under the hood and cost under twenty five hundred bucks. <laughs> then get yourself a fourth gen Camaro right off the bat. Just turn the video off. Go get a Camaro. But but if you want a reliable, reliable, quick, not fast, but quick with a bigger aftermarket support than any other American muscle car in the world. All four or around two thousand to twenty five hundred bucks. Then get yourself an SN ninety five Mustang GT. Now, before we go any further, for all you noobs and Keyboard Warriors, uh, the SN95 Mustang refers to the models produced from 1994 to 2004. What the hell does SN95 mean? Good question. SN95 stands for Specialty Sporty North American Market Project Number 95. I know, I, I know. I'm going to break it down for you. The S stands for which is kind of stupid because it's a bunch of freaking words. The S stands for small specialty market that the Mustang competes in. The N stands for North American operations. The 95 is just basically the sequence number and Ford's numbering system for approved programs. Uh, although technically the 99 to 2004 models fall under the SN95 category, the quote unquote new edge mustangs as many refer to them they do have enough differences uh, both cosmetically and engine wise that, that i'll just i'll just be doing a separate video on that one another time okay so just keep an eye out anyways uh now i know a lot of you who are watching this video are considering an sn95 staying as your first car so so listen up because uh uncle louie here has some special info for you that, you know, that you're going to want to know. Capiche? Okay. All 94 to 98 Mustang GTs came with a two-valve, 4.6-liter V8. All GT models from 94 to 97, put a little asterisk on that, they made 215 horsepower. Yeah, I know. That's weak AF, but here's a little secret, though. Uh... All 98 GTs, they actually got a bump in horsepower and made 225. So, you know, just, just keep that in mind if you're out there on the market for one. Now, quick little side note. Stay away from any 94 to 95 Cobras. Uh, they were severely underpowered, only making 240 horsepower. Just to put that into context... Uh, later on, all the base 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 model GTs from '99 to 2004 made 260 horsepower. Man, come on, base model GTs. Okay, now back to the '94 to '98 models. Remember how I said Mustang GTs are quick, but not fast. Well, uh, zero to sixty is a a blistering six seconds. Which is about 1.5 seconds faster than a Crown Victoria. However, the aftermarket modifications for this car is... It's a magnifique. Every issue and problem has been solved. And 
Not only can these cars be made fast for cheap, but the repairs are cheap as well. But <laughs> speaking of repairs, oh, here's all the crap you can expect to go wrong on your 94 to 98 Mustang GT. I swear I can't make this shit up. Okay, right off the bat, guaranteed, I guarantee you that your e-brake is not going to work. Uh, there's also major vacuum line issues, especially with the air conditioning system. Your throwout bearing, also known as your TOB, it's going to go out as well. Uh, your best solution is just replace it, uh, preferably with an upgraded one. The odometers are known to fail. Uh, the clutch cables are made out of straw, pretty much. And uh, speaking of clutches, uh, yeah, you need to be a freaking part-time leg press champion to be able to operate the clutch on these damn cars, man. Keep that in mind if you're in heavy traffic areas. Uh, also, leaky coolant expansion tanks. Uh, your front ball joints, inner, outer tie rods will need replacing. High pressure line on power steering pump leaks. Your O-rings go bad as well on those. And if for whatever reason on God's green hell, you own an automatic, uh, just remember to change the fluid every 30,000 miles. Oh, yeah, in case you haven't figured it out, uh, yeah, that was actually my SN95 1994 Mustang GT. Uh, you guys might warmfully know it as the Crowd Surfer. He was one of six Mustangs I have owned. So, yeah, I kind of know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one.